Hi, I'm Chris Runge, and today I'm going to talk to you about buck building. Based on a 1949-1950 uh, Glockler Special, which was a car that was raced by Walter Glockler of Frankfurt, Germany. What I did was found uh, dozens of pictures, that's pr basically every picture that I know exists, of the original Glockler Spider, or the Glockler Special, and I uh, dissected that um, car as best as I could and then I proceeded to build my own buck. The chassis that I used is an early Formula V chassis. Formula V is a series of racing that's Volkswagen based. It has a transverse uh, rear axle so it's mid-engine. It's center cockpit and uh, the dimensions were nearly identical to what I could find of the original Glock. The first step I took in building the buck was to make sure the car uh, has the right tire size on it that you want to run uh, with your final product. After I got the right tire size, it's important to make sure that your car is leveled and you know your exact dimensions from ground height, your floor pans, etc. So the next thing I did was build my floor pans. When building a buck, what I found, this is just the way I did it. Uh, there's probably guys, I know there are, that would disagree or maybe uh, do it differently. But um, I dissected the lines of the car from a side profile. And when I did this, you look at the different heights that the design of the car has. There's one height, a peak between the wheel to wheel profile. There's another peak that comes down the center line here and then there's a lower point right here and so these three different profiles are what I dissected and cut out. I began with my side wheel to wheel profiles and I cut them out of three um, once I had both of my sheets cut identically I screwed both of the side sheets that wheel to wheel profile and this wheel profile together and then I sanded them with a belt sander to the profile so they're real nice and, and uh, smooth the way that I wanted them. After I did that I was able to identify my side shapes between the wheels and um, start making all these little stringers that come out and um, got the shape that I wanted with those. A little bit Before I did these shapes I cut the flat uh, level part of the front profile right here. That After you do your side profiles, this is what I did next. That way it gave me an identification of how I wanted these lines to pull back. And then I had something to go off of with this flat nose piece right here. Then I did these stringers from here to here. And then of course tied them all together with these shapes. You do one half of the car from length to, or side to side, you'll dissect it uh, in half, and then the other side is a direct copy of this half. From the rear of the car, you can see it has a much different profile than the front, of course, because I wanted to get enough clearance for the 40 horse Formula V power plant that's in the car right now. But I also wanted to be able to fit uh, Porsche four cylinders such as the 912 or 356 series motors in. Before I did any of this uh, forming here, I started with this flat piece and kind of figured how I wanted the back end to look. Make this piece, then form up off of that. You know, I had to connect these stringers from front to back. There's there's uh, three different sections. There's a nose section, the mid section, and this section. My design has a slightly higher, uh, the side profiles, wheel to wheel profile, actually get narrower as they come toward the back of the car. Kind of gives it this like reverse streamliner look. Um, everything is screwed together, everything is numbered. And now that I have my buck built, I can go ahead and I'll show you some panels that I've been making. 